They say, my name is Bruce Fine. I'm Nandi Khan, who's an international lawyer. I'm from the United States. Today was the fifth time I was told I could not enter the courtroom despite the court's previous order that Namdi could have access to any three persons he wanted to. I actually had a chance to talk briefly to him on the way to the courtroom. It's clear five times that they are targeting me in particular. That's the reason why this proceeding did not transpire today. And I'm here to tell the Nigerians and the international community, I'm taking this now to international tribunals. It's clear that the Nigerian tribunals are compromised. This is the international uh, a uh, working group on arbitrary detention in Geneva, the International Court of Justice Mr. in Camero. The Hague, the ICC in The Hague, and I'll be going to the United States Congress and urging that sanctions be considered against Nigeria for gross violations of fundamental human rights. And there's no more fundamental right than a right to access to lawyers in a criminal case. It's enshrined in the Nigerian Constitution. It's enshrined in the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. It's enshrined in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. It's a basic principle of civilization. If you're accused of a crime, you have right to counsel. And he's been denied access to me five times. And I'm here not to be an irritant. There are huge international law issues that are present in Namdi Kanu's case. You all know this kidnapping in Kenya, the extraordinary rendition to Nigeria just being one of them. So I'm here because I'm an international law expert to provide more enlightenment on what legal issues are present here. I'm not here to just try to create a problem or to create a, some kind of irritation. And yet I've been denied five times. What am I a threat about? I have not acted in any way that's disruptive. I've been courteous, provided identity that they've asked for. And every single occasion, Mr. Fine, you can't visit him. It's clear that I am the reason why we were locked out of court today. Okay, let me interject uh, briefly uh, as a special counsel. Uh, we, consider, we, we consider what happened today as a clear and flagrant violation of Section 36 of Nigerian Constitution, which is his right to fair hearing. It's very fundamental. So in our opinion as lawyers, we think what happened today is nullity. It cannot stand in law that you will lock lawyers outside, counsels outside, who you know as a court are present. You lock them outside because of a mild disagreement, you lock them out and then you maroon our client. Somebody that has been, was renditions is to you maroon him inside the court with our counsel, you speak with him and then you adjourn the case in a summary manner to 19th and 20th of January. It's unfair and he's in detention. Okay, and his health is not in the best. He's not in the best health condition. So this is something that we are going to go back to drawing board and we are going to come out with very strong countervailing legal and judicial challenges to the travesty of justice that happened in court today. Thank you. Thank you.